Armenian President Armen Sarkisyan signed a decree to dismiss two senior army officials. Arthur Baldassarian, chief of the military police, and Alexander Alexanian, head of the Department of Moral and Psychological Provision of the Armed Forces, were sacked based on the proposal by Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. These officials are dismissed amid growing number of deaths in the army. From January 1st to February 16th, a total of 13 casualties were recorded in the Armed Forces of Armenia and the Defense Army of Artsakh. The first court hearing on the criminal case against Armenia's third president, Serge Sargsyan, and some other officials has been set for February 25th. Sargsyan, together with owner of Flash Company, Varsak Beklaryan, former Deputy Agriculture Minister, Samuel Galsyan, and former Agriculture Ministry official, Yavor Kartunyan, are charged with organizing, inciting, and assisting large-scale appropriation or squander. Ex-Agriculture Minister, Sergo Garabetyan, is charged with large-scale embezzlement. The Council of the European Union has removed Armenia from the Grey List of Tax Havens list. Armenia, together with 15 other states, was removed from the list of non-cooperative tax jurisdictions. These countries managed to implement all the necessary reforms to comply with the EU tax good governance principles ahead of the agreed deadline, the EU said. An initiative to commemorate Armenian genocide victims was registered in the Ukrainian parliament. The initiative was presented by a member of the Ukrainian parliament from the Servant of the People Party, Daria Volodina. This is the fourth legislative initiative registered in the Verkhovna Rada in the last 10 years. China's ambassador to Armenia, Tian Erlong, handed over to President of Armenia, Armen Sarkisyan, a letter from Chinese President Xi Jinping, in which the latter thanked Armenia for the assistance in the fight against the new coronavirus. I attach great importance to the development of Armenian-Chinese relations, and I stand ready to work with you to raise the bilateral relations to a new level for the benefit of both countries and peoples, the Chinese President's message reads. The Chinese ambassador and the Armenian President also refer to the situation created by this coronavirus and the measures being taken to prevent it.